Hello team and welcome to today's video. The filter function in Excel is beneficial because it will dynamically update when your data changes. This function also will not change your source data. It creates a new range of cells that displays your filter criteria. This means you can experiment with different filters without adjusting your original data set. In this video, I will show you the basics of how the filter function works. We'll look at filtering with multiple criteria, and finally, I will show you how to return only the columns you want in your filter. Let's get started. Here I have an example learning report. The report contains employee names, training name, training status, and the grade the employee achieved if the training is completed. We'll begin by filtering for the training name of compliance. We'll start by entering the filter function into this cell. Notice for this function there are only two required arguments the array, and what the filter should include. For the array, I'll enter in the entire training report. After a comma, I'll highlight the training column. And then to keep things simple, I will type in the training name for what we're looking for in this case. You could also click the cell as a reference. Now, if I hit close parentheses and hit enter, you'll see Excel has returned all employees that have taken the compliance training, the status, and their grade. Now let's get a bit more advanced. We're gonna update the filter function with two criteria. We wanna determine if an employee has taken the compliance training and it has been completed. Looking at my original filter, Heather has been assigned the compliance training, but it's still in progress. To adjust the formula, we'll head up to the formula bar. We're going to wrap the first criteria of what to include, the compliance training name, in parentheses. Add an asterisk, and this is the symbol we'll use for and within the filter function. Open another set of parentheses. I'll highlight the training status column and set that equal to complete. Close parentheses here. What Excel is doing in this updated function is reviewing the entire training report. Then when looking at what to include, Excel is first looking at the training name column and looking for the name of compliance. Adding an asterisk means Excel is also looking for a training status of complete. Both criteria have to be true in order to return as a result within the filter. So when I click enter, you'll notice I get the same three top employees, but Heather has been removed because that training is not yet complete. Now let's take this a step further. I now wanna find all employees that have been assigned the compliance or systems training and that training has been completed. After heading back up to the formula bar, we use the plus symbol to add an or statement to the filter function. I'll open another set of parentheses and highlight the training name column again and set that equal to systems. Close parentheses and click enter. You'll notice from the results, our formula didn't work quite as expected. All the employees that were assigned systems training that have completed it are listed within my filter. But Heather is showing up again for compliance training as in progress. This brings up an important point when you're adding and or statements to the filter function. If we take a look at the formula bar, the reason this occurred is because we didn't wrap training name of compliance and training name of systems within a set of parentheses. So what Excel is doing here is taking the training name of systems and ensuring that that is completed, but not applying the same rule to compliance. In order to resolve this, we'll wrap both training names in a set of parentheses. And what Excel will do in this instance is look for all instances of a training name of compliance or systems because of the plus symbol, and then apply our and statement of completed after. So when I click enter, now my filter has been updated. Only employees that have been assigned and completed compliance or systems are showing. Okay team, let's take this one step further. I now have a list of employees that have completed their training, whether it's compliance or systems, but I only want to display employees that have achieved a passing grade of 80. Let's head back up to the formula bar. After the AND statement for training status of complete, I'll enter another asterisk for another AND statement, open a set of parentheses, and highlight the grade column. I'll set that as greater than or equal to 80, add a close parentheses, and then hit enter. Now Excel is displaying to me all employees that have completed their training, but also received a passing grade. 
As you can see, there's lots of different ways to apply filters to a set of data. Let me show you how you can use the Choose Calls function in Excel to return only your selected columns in your filter. Heading back up to the formula bar, in the front, I'll enter the Choose Calls function. Our array is already selected for us. So at the very end of this function, I'll enter a comma and input the columns I want to return. In this case, I really don't need to see the training status because someone would have only received a grade if they completed the training. So I'll return column one, another comma, column two, a final comma, and then column four to return the grade. Now a final close parentheses, click enter, and now you see Excel has returned only employee name, training name, and the grade. And I can replace the column header here, delete the previous one, so that the column names line up. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel, leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see, and ring that notification bell for future videos.